What's up guys this is Karan here back with another video welcome back to Tech Karan YouTube channel so MIUI 12 based MASIC 13.3 is released for Redmi Note 8 as an official build it's not a ported ROM it's based on Xiaomi EU or you can say it's based on official China beta in this video I'll show you that which are the bugs you get in MASIC which are the features you get here and how's the performance everything in this video Make sure to watch this video till the end. Let's get started right now. So we are here at the home screen. First of all, if you see the look here, I've applied the third party theme. It's not actually a third party theme. It's a theme available on the theme store and the name of the theme is back. It's fully compatible with MIUI 12 and I've applied this. You can see your icons, your wallpaper looks pretty much interesting, including your widget that looks also pretty much interesting. Your status bar icons, your battery and Wi-Fi icon, everything is just perfectly fine here. Talking about the control center, that looks pretty much interesting too. Some colors are shady and some looking pretty much cool with gradient look and it feels pretty much impressive. Talking about the icons, you can see these icons are available here where you can see weather, themes, gallery, music, all the same things are available which are available in all the MIUI 12 base rooms. Talking about the camera first of all, you got the MIUI 12 default camera available. I think this one is the ANX camera, I think and when you click photos, it these are clicking perfectly. Talking about the ultra wide angle, that's perfectly fine here. Talking about the portrait mode, that should also be fine. Yes, it's fine too. We talk about the video mode. And yes, videos are perfectly fine here. When if you want to shoot videos in ultra wide, that's perfectly fine here too. And if you talk about the 48 megapixel camera, that's also perfectly fine. So camera is almost fully bugless which is a very positive thing you can also use gcam if you want to it's all about your preference moving on to some other things you got all the main apps which are available in all the mini 12 base rooms so there are no changes here too the changes might be in the settings so let me just show you in settings which are the things you get here which are the changes everything else first of all in sim cards and mobile network everything is the same no extra things are there like advanced settings almost everything is same it does not have that much features but when you go to lock screen you can see at the always on display option by turning off the MIUI optimization option in developer options but obviously it will not work for Xiaomi Redmi Note 8 we get the sleep option and here you get also get the option of always show notification on the lock screen option here and you also get the charging animation available you can adjust the flow glow or wave this is a very kind of new thing and is available nowadays in almost any MIUI 12 base room for Redmi Note 8 and it's in available in MASIC also moving on to the display you can see your display size available here you can choose the maximum brightness on call you also got the reading mode option and dark mode option which were available here Talking about the system fonts, you can see you have these fonts are pre-installed in MASIC custom room. There are I think 15, almost 10 to 15 fonts there are which are pre-installed here and are just you have to apply them if you want to apply them and you don't need any reboot. These will be applied successfully and this is how it will look. Let me just show you. Okay, this is how it will look. A very very impressive thing at least you got the themes pre-installed actually the fonts so text is in font weight is option is available here talking about the system animation you get three or four system animations available here linear wave scale or fold whichever you like you can choose that one you also got the interpolation effects option linear acceleration approximation or bounce and here you also got the option screenshot in any app option but I don't think so in my case or everyone's case control center and notification shade is not opening. I've tried to refresh this room. I've tried to reboot and everything I did but this one is just keep stopping. Maybe in your case this could not be here but in my case this is an error for me. This is a force close for me. Just try wait for two or three reboots then check out if it's working for you or not if it's working for you comment below if it's not working for you you can also comment below to tell me that we can encounter this bug very very soon. 
sound and vibration you get this beats ringtone which is a very cool interesting thing of Masi custom room which I personally like a lot talking about the home screen you get the icon title style option available here you get the number of columns in folder hide labels in the bar shadow of icons on the desktop and blur effect add folders these three or five option available here and in standard option all the same options are available here when you go to home screen you have the option to choose classic or with app drawer if you want to choose a swipe up to home screen option you can choose a search option and you also can choose a search provider like normal search or google search so these are the another two main, three or main options available here you can customize your zero screen which is this one swiping right this is the screen you get here you can customize this screen if you want to all other things are everything is same password security you get the three main options password fingerprint face lock and all the three options are perfectly fine here and when you go to other things everything is just same just if you have noticed there are no dividers at all everything is at the same place no dividers this is the actually the thing in Masik room you don't get in any other custom rooms in additional settings you get the date and time languages full screen all other things are everything is the same you got the clear speaker feature available here as you can see and all other things like game turbo developer options everything is just same these were the things you get here these were all the features these were everything i have shown you the bug like control center notification bar this was only for me i'm not sure about you but all the things are perfectly fine here so this was all from today's video, I hope you like it, don't forget to like, share and subscribe, goodbye, have a nice day.